Before I start my review video, I want to give a big thanks to Ford Pampanga for allowing me to review the all new Ford Expedition. Good day everyone. Today, we have the 2018 Ford Expedition Limited. This is going to be a full in-depth tour review of the Expedition. And so, this is Patrick Reyes TV. Let's go and have a review. unlock all the windows just by pressing this unlock button hold it for three seconds there we go and to pull up the windows obviously just press the lock button again for three seconds there we go now with the key fob around the vehicle could lock and unlock the doors just by pressing this button for locking and to unlock just put your hand behind the handle and it automatically unlocks step forward comes down as well on the inside you are greeted with the very premium interior of the Ford Expedition you got two-tone design and some wood paneling right over here Chrome accents, seats are automated as well, recliner, and your lumbar adjustment. Seats are installed with pure leather on the interior. Now with the key fob inside the vehicle, you can start the accessories just by pressing this button right here. So we are now on accessory mode. We can access the head unit and the gauge right here. Now for ignition, press the button again. There we go. Now to start the engine, put your foot on the brake and push the button to start. Now let's go and turn on all the headlights fog lights and the hazards all windows are electrically powered all windows are automatic up and down the Ford Expedition is a full-size SUV that is made by Ford Motor Company introduced for the 1997 model year as the successor of the Ford Bronco the Expedition is the first mid-size Ford crossover sold with a four-door body. For its entire production life, the Ford Expedition has been derived from the corresponding generation of the Ford F-150 in production, sharing body and mechanical components. The Ford Generation Expedition, known internally at Ford Motor Company as the U-553, was unveiled on February 7, 2017 at the Dallas Cowboys Training Facility Ford Center in Frisco, Texas, ahead of its Chicago Auto Show debut. Production of the new Expedition started on September 25, 2017. Vehicles arrive at dealerships at November 2017 in the US. The all-new Expedition is literally an all-new SUV to the Expedition lineup, as this is the first Expedition to be released on a turbo V6 engine. Lots of reviewers claim to have this full-size SUV to be the most efficient of them all. It's quite ironic how we used to classify the Expedition as a gas guzzler, but Ford obviously hurt its consumers and did well this time. Not to mention that the Expedition is mostly made with aluminum and boron steel, which is a lighter metal but still a rock-solid material. The Ford Expedition truly stepped up its game this time. In the Philippines, we barely see Expeditions because of its price point and the famous stereotyping of it as being a uh, 3 km per liter car. But with this Expedition, you might want to change your mind and go and check out the all-new Expedition. Trust me, it won't disappoint you. Let's go and pop the hood. The fourth generation Expedition only has one engine option which is the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. It produces 375 horsepower at 5000 RPM and 637 Newton meters of torque at 2250 RPM. 
It is paired with a whopping 10-speed select shift automatic transmission. All those power are transmitted to the four-wheel drive system. 0 to 100 km per hour times are tested to be around 6.5 seconds and mixed fuel consumption rating of 8 km per liter. Fuel tank capacity is 95 liters. Now on the inside, you get a leather wrapped steering wheel, very high end quality materials, plastic materials on the controls right here, but we'll tackle on that later. You got your automatic transmission, just uh, rotate this knob right here, and that's on reverse, neutral, drive, and your manual mode, so you can manually shift just by pressing this minus and plus button right here and of course this is a four-wheel drive you could uh, adjust your settings based on what you want for the rear-wheel drive or the four-wheel drive parking sensors coin pockets 12 volts power outlet AC controls and speed right here and the air conditioning system on the Ford Expedition is dual zone so temperature on the driver side and on the passenger side is different 17.5 it also shows up on the display unit as you can see rear air conditioning you could adjust it here as well if you want it defogger and your different zones rear defogger your circular vents and your maximum temperature for uh, the low or the coldest air conditioning breeze let's turn that off you could also heat the seats or make it cool so you could have that option as well So the reason for the holes that you see on the seats are for ventilation for the fans to push through and cool down or heat up the seats. Of course, the Ford Expedition, they always have this um, mirror. It's called the Captain Mirror. You can see everyone up until the back. Sunshade holder. Now, as I have said earlier, everything in the Expedition is very premium. Even the lights are all LED. Very nice to see. Now, on the gauge right here, it's a very wide gauge, to be honest. And uh, there's a lot to see. On the upper left corner, you got your oil, your water temperature, your fuel gauge, and your turbo. You could adjust those by pressing this. So you have your selector on the steering wheel. Try that. So you got different vehicle infos. You got gauge view. And you also have your transmission temperature, which is a nice feature of this, this one. Tire pressure. There we go. Digital speedometer. Nice. Engine information. Transmission temperature. There we go. So we also have towing infos right here. Of course, the Expedition is a, a hauler. You could carry things around or tow big things around. Now we have your off road status right here. You can see your elevation and your differential lock. Blind spot assist. Now, as you all know, the side mirror, if the expedition or the sensors of the expedition senses that there's a vehicle on the driver's side that you do not see on the side mirror, this right here lights up, as you can see, lights up as orange, 
indicating that there is a car that you might not see on the side mirror. So that's the blind spot feature. Here you have your cruise control, volume rockers, and your selector as well for the head unit that we will tackle later. CarPlay, mute, accept, and decline calls. Off the dashboard, you can open the glass on the back just by pressing this button. Memory seats, so you can save your seat configuration depending if you are the driver one, driver two, or driver three. Retractable side mirrors as well. Now this one, you could uh, light up your gauge and the lights on the center console. So right now it's on the lowest brightness level. There we go. Okay, it's just that. This is for the parking brake. To activate this, just pull it up. There we go. Parking brake on. And to release the parking brake, just put your foot on the brake. Push this one. And it's now released. Uh, expedition to the latest expedition which is this one you can adjust the pedal according to your most comfortable place so you could uh, push it forward or pull it towards you so that's your option both telescopic and can be adjusted up and down and it's automatic as well And to go up, go down, there we go. Everything is very automatic on the new Expedition. Now, of course, we have your sunroof and as well as in the passengers on the middle row. Let's just uh, pull this one right here. Go. Let's close that down. For the sunroof shade, just press that one. And one more for the front passengers. So it's all closed down right now. Let's go and check out the rear seats. Same materials used on the back door. Two-tone design, soft materials with your wood paneling. If that's wood. <laughs> and chrome accents right over here as well. You could recline the seats as well. And on the middle row, the seats usually can fall down to 60-40 on regular cars. This one actually is three independent seats, as you can see. Let's go inside. Now on the back part, you have your um, turn on the lights first. So we could invite more lighting. Now on the back, you have your tweeter speakers on the back as well. And your main speaker right over here. On the middle. USB ports, clock of course, you could adjust your volume or your media depending on what you want. Regular 220 volts power outlet, air conditioning controls on the middle seats and on the back seats, fan speed and your temperature, you can go for auto mode as well and your different zones. Holders right here. Some pockets in here as well. In 
this is the interior of the 2018 all new Ford Expedition very modern very manly design on this one let's go and check out the rearmost seats now you could first recline the seats to enter the back and push this button right here this pops up and you could fold the seats towards the front and you could enter the back seats so as you can see even with the third row seats on the back cargo area is very massive on the Ford Expedition let's go and check out the rear door so you got some storage right over here there's your jack 12 volts power outlet USB input right over there and you got a lot of pockets on both sides I hope you enjoyed the full tour review of the 2018 Ford Expedition. There's a lot more to come, so please do subscribe, share, and like my videos. This is Patrick Reyes TV, signing out.